Hey guys, so here's an update on the car. For some reason, the car is not making that weird rattling sound whenever I start it. I found that it, um, well, I turned it on and turned it off really quick. And it's, that seems to have, uh, stopped it from making that really weird rattling sound. And I just saw that my hood scoops look like they're warped. I don't know if that's normal. Can you see that small gap? I don't know. Maybe it's just more noticeable on white. But she's extremely dirty. I got a ton of car parts in the mail today, which I'll show you. But I got a really nice one here that is in the trunk of the car. And my car right now is extremely dirty because she's outside. And yeah, and I work 12 hour shifts. So it's really, really hard to get the car cleaned up. Some rain residue, as you can see. So hopefully today's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. Hopefully Saturday, if I can, you know, it's just getting out of bed and getting all this stuff done is what's uh, uh, the really difficult part. But, if you don't know what that is, it is the rear window spoiler that'll fit right there. And um, even though you can get these on eBay, even though it says that they're, hold on, let me just go inside, I don't feel so good. So, as I was saying, even though I bought this uh, on eBay, even though it says that, you know, the person that I bought it from said, uh, you know, USA seller, USA shipping and whatnot, but this thing didn't come from, wasn't uh, here in the States. It came all the way from Taiwan, and I ordered this, I want to say it was Saturday or Friday. I think it was like Saturday early morning or Friday late night, something like that. It could have been Saturday, and today's Thursday. And I got it, and I looked at the shipping, and it said Taiwan. So, it definitely came from Taiwan. Oh, man, and I sort of halfway opened this up. Man... I guess I'm going to have to pause this video here and then try to open it, or maybe I can just do this one little piece here and show you if I can get it to, to rip here. But this here is the rear window spoiler that I bought off eBay for 65 bucks. I think it was 65 or 70 something like that. And there it is, and it came painted, and I told them, um, you can get it in your, you know, paint color matched to your car, but, you know, I have a black gloss roof wrap, and, you know, they sent me an email saying that they need the, uh, color code for what I want, whatever color I want to the, uh, the window spoiler painted, and I told them I wanted, I need it in gloss black. And they were like, okay, and I got it in gloss black. So that's good. Didn't have to uh, mess around getting it painted phantom black metallic. And then I got some other parts here. This is my little box of uh, car parts here for the car. And this here I bought off of another, off of another G8 owner. And these here are... Um, turn light resistors for the, um, for switching your, uh, tail light bulbs into, um, LED bulbs. So, I don't know how this goes. I think it just, this is where you plug in the bulb, and then this here plugs into your stock harness on your headlight, and it'll keep them from hyper-flashing. And I looked on eBay for uh, some of these because I remember seeing them post them and a couple of other people, I think maybe two people posted these asking if these would work for the uh, turn signals in the front, but the turn signals in the front um, aren't uh, aren't this style of connector. It just plugs into the little, little this little screw cap and then your uh, wiring plugs are built into it so you can't... Um, use this type of uh, resistor on them so you have to get the ones that are that look like this and then you tap into your um turn signal or your headlight uh wiring harness but 
I looked on eBay and I couldn't find any of these, so it was nice that, you know, he sold me these. So I'll definitely use these. I don't know when I'll get around to doing all of this stuff. Maybe Saturday, just depending on how tired I am or whatnot. But I have those. And then I have here the uh, the fog or the low beams. I'm still waiting on my um, my other fog light to come in the mail. And according to the uh, the little email thing that you get whenever you purchase something on eBay that gives you all your tracking information, it should be here Monday. I guess I'll have to do it like that. Wow, I have no idea what's going on there. But did you see that? Samsung Galaxy S6, so I'm pretty sure the thing almost exploded. I don't know what happens, but as soon as it touches anything, um, the whole phone starts to vibrate and make that weird sound and kind of sounds like it might explode, which is, you know, typical for Samsung. Piece of shit. They're all shit, even though, you know, they're like, that they're better and whatnot, but they're not. But... Um, I'll see if I can get these installed Saturday or this weekend or Sunday along with this. Along with this, I need to clean up my car as you saw because she's extremely dirty. I don't know what my cat's doing. Messing with a dead roach. Get away from there! Messing with a poisoned, poisoned roach. They sprayed the place. And then I got these here. And these bulbs, if you can make them out, are uh, kind of weird looking. Because they have a, a clear plastic case around them, if you can see it. And these are 20 watt uh, turn signal bulbs. These are for the front. Uh, I would do switch racks, but for some reason, every time I do switch racks, they go out. Um, that was on the previous slides. These are new headlights, so I'll see if, you know, maybe it was my headlights, so I thought, you know, I'd just get these, and I think I paid a dollar for these, so it wasn't too bad, because I got a, a $10 credit from uh, PayPal, so they only cost me a dollar. And then these here, I can't see if you can sort of make them out, these are the LED 80 watt uh, projectors. For the fog lights, these are cool white, so if these don't match these, then I'll have to pull them in, dig around in the storage, because I know I have another set of these that are 60 watts, and they are 6K, these are 7K, so I didn't, didn't see that part when I bought them. And then these here are 60, I believe, 60 watt LED amber projector bulbs that will be going in the uh, tail lights. So they'll fit into this and then these will go into my tails. So they, these will be a good, I don't know, 50 times brighter than what's uh, currently in there, which is good. And then, of course, the fog light. My God, I wish the neighbors would shut up. Really don't like the neighbors next door. And then there's the uh, new fog light with a bulb, which I don't need. Let me see if I can pull it out and just clip these two clips here. If I can even get it to come undone. Oh, that kind of hurt, but yep. So hopefully I'll get all of this stuff put in. Sometime this week. Now why won't it go in? Oh wow, look at that. Kind of fits like that. I gotta find my nail clipper too. Hopefully it's not in storage, but let me just uh, pause the video and open this up and see if my fog lights will fit. And that's what it'll look like with the bulb in there. So, fits just, just right, just line up the little things. Sometimes you have to remove the little grommet thing that's holding onto the bulb just to get it to fit. I had to do it on my 
OEM fog lights. These are aftermarket fog lights that I bought off eBay. Um, but there's the little grommet that sometimes you have to remove. So it'll be a pretty busy weekend if I can get some time to install all of this stuff. So it'll it'll look good. So then every single light on my car will be LED. And then I also have some China bulbs coming in from China or something like that. And they're, they kind of look like microchip LED bulbs. Kind of like the ones that I have inside my dome lights, except these are amber. And they're, they're extremely thin. They, they're like a little square, like about that big and thin, and that's about it. But they're super bright, so can't wait to get those in so I can replace the uh, bulbs. I guess I'll throw this one away. Because I don't really need it. This one also looks slightly different than what I've what I, what comes in, you know, our original ones. Put all this stuff back, and so tomorrow's uh, Friday, or when I get off work and wake up, it'll be Friday. So. Tune in, uh, I guess, Saturday or sometime like that. Sometime Saturday. I'll have to do a complete wash, but I might be busy Saturday, so I don't know if I'll get to it. Just because uh, my my dad bought me a washer and dryer for my birthday, so I think they're delivering that Saturday or sometime. So I won't be able to do anything to the car if that happens just because I have so much laundry to do and had to clean up around here and that's about it it's kind of kind of dirty I need to sweep the floor if you can't even see. you probably can't even see but it's dirty and I did move the bed in there just so that I could watch TV and that's about it and I think that's uh pretty much it just got to clean around here and get all this stuff installed, but really looking forward to putting that, well, all of it, really. And then what else did I get? Oh, yeah, some more awesome eBay buys. Let's see. I got some of my all-time favorite games. I got Donkey Kong Land. These are all my birthday presents since tomorrow's my birthday. Got Donkey Kong Land 2. If you haven't played these games, they're awesome. And then Wario Land 3. And if you've if you're as old as I am, you grew up playing these things, then you'll know Super Mario Land was crap. I mean it's okay, but it's just not good. And then um Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, is like one of one of the best games on Game Boy. Mario games, at least, I think, and these are all in extremely good condition, as you can tell. All original, too. You can tell by, let's see, where it says Nintendo, and it doesn't say Nintendo or whatever. It says Nintendo Game Boy on the back, made in Japan. Well, this one doesn't say it, but... There's the seal. If you have an oval one, it's like a European one. Oh, shit. Well, hold on. And it says made in Japan on the back, so that's good. Same with this uh, Donkey Kong Land. It kind of looks like this weird yellow, but it's kind of a really dark yellow in person. But as you can see, it is in extremely good condition for being as old as it is made in Japan so and I got him for like 10 bucks each and I think you know one in this uh, condition here would sell for they sell for about uh, in this condition they would sell for around 40 bucks so I got really lucky that I found these for like uh, seven dollars no more than twelve dollars with shipping I think some of these were I think these here were seven dollars and this one was like ten dollars and this one was like twelve dollars with shipping and such and then 
Also bought some cases that I'm waiting on to come in the mail. Just to keep these all in good condition. And then I also got this today. Which if you're not familiar with this camera, it's a dual lens Kodak camera. Super thin, really, really beautiful and elegant. I gotta clean it up a bit. I've got the uh, original one or the first uh, version, which is like the Kodak V570. This is the Kodak V610. Also has Bluetooth so that you can stream your photos off of your camera to your cell phone or whatnot. And it is a really awesome camera. This one here has a uh, a better lens than the other one. I think this one here might be six megapixel or something. Let's see here. Doesn't say on there, but not exactly the best considering what's out. I know my phone can do a hell of a lot better than this, but it is just a really beautiful camera. And I think I have my other one, my V570 in storage. But the only difference between this one is this one has better lenses and a bigger top lens for wide angles and Bluetooth and then the other one doesn't have any of that stuff so and I think I only paid <clears throat> I want to say like 20 bucks for this which if you can get one in this good in this condition it's usually around $50 or more if you can get one with a box it's like 150 to $200 and then I bought the other one which I already have the V10 or v, V570 for $10. Complete in box. So that's awesome. And then I picked this up today because my Game Boy Color didn't come in the mail. And this one here is a Game Boy Pocket. I only paid 17 bucks for it. It's a little dirty if you can't if you can't see, but I'll take it apart and clean it up. Maybe do the backlight mod on this and whatnot. But overall, it's in good condition, except for where whoever owned this, uh, like, scribbled their name on on it or their uh, whatever you call it. But you can always just buy another case for these, but I'll just clean it up. And the uh, Game Boy Color that I bought, I think I paid um, 30 bucks for it or $40 for it, but it's uh, a mint condition one, so that's nice. So... Not too bad for, you know, birthday presents and whatnot. There's all the uh, boxes from it. And I think that's about it. So I guess I'll just get ready and go to work. And then, and then I bought a charger for the camera. Which is easy. I, I lost mine for my camera. So I, can, I couldn't even charge my, my camera. But I think I only paid $7 for this charger. So not too bad getting all of this stuff. So let's hope that I can get to it uh, this weekend. And I guess I'll end it with uh, a shot of my cat. Hey, psst, Bella. Hi.